My name is Barbara Gundel. I've lived in Portland almost 50 years, and I was part of the first news team at KBU. I believe it was just once a week that we did the news, but I'm not sure about that. So you actually came to KBU in 1971. What made you come to KBU? I was part of a political collective called PRIM, which stood for Portland Revolutionary Youth Movement. We were anywhere between 10 and 15 people living in an old house on Division for dirt cheap. And we mostly were ex-Reed folks, but not entirely. Some had come from New York who just graduated from Columbia. And if you recall, between 68 and 71, a lot of, a lot of turmoil on campuses all over the country, a lot of anti-war protests, the women's movement was kind of getting its start, the gay movement was getting its start, the Black Panthers were active, the American Indians were starting to organize, and so everything was kind of on fire. So it was part of the political work that we did, so we were involved with the Willamette Bridge, which was the local underground newspaper, heavily involved with that. We were just involved in anything that was making the movement at the time, helping to end the war in Vietnam, helping to work for women's rights, etc. So it was part of that philosophy and belief system that brought us to KBU, and I was part of several people from my house who, who got involved in the news project. Mm-hmm.